and veterans to our annual 2022 Veterans Day program. I'd like to take a quick minute to pay my contributions to all the fellow veterans that have served in the military for our country. Thank you to each and every veteran for your strength, courage, and determination. Without your sacrifices, in America wouldn't be where it is today. Now into our program, and also please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance.
for no credit, glory, or even honor we lavish on him today. They fought to defend our country, to preserve our way of life. As we remember and honor our veterans, let us also celebrate those who are presently fighting for our freedom. The war on terror has made us all aware of how really unique the American way of life is. Our freedom is exceedingly unique, which is why we must defend it. So today is not only the moment to remember those who are, far, are fighting for our freedom, but it is also the time for us to take a part in defending it. The defense of freedom is not just for the military. We all share that duty and obligation. We do not need to join the Army, Navy, or other defense organizations to act with actively defend our way of life. We can defend our liberty by simply keeping it here in America. If we want to keep our liberties, we must use them, such as in voting in elections and speaking out against injustices. We must also ensure that everyone benefits from freedom. We can do this by helping our communities and teaching others what it means to be an American. Veterans Day is a holiday for all Americans, not just veterans. Today to remember why those heroes fought for and a day for all of us to embark on the journey of defending our freedom. Thank you to our veterans today. Let us continue to commemorate them by living in the freedom they defended. Once again, thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. My name is Ray Lujan, and I'm honored to introduce our guest speaker for the 2022 Veterans Day Program, Sergeant Mike Shanahan. He was in the U.S. Army and was a military policeman. We are so thankful that he served our country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Mike Shane. Soldiers for putting us first. 
They fought for our freedom. The awards have kept neck and neck black blue. All those hard, long nights and days gave us stripes. We thank it each and every one of you. We might not know your name, but we love you all the same. Thank you again for all those long nights because they gave us stripes. We stand for our flag morning and nights we put our feminists first. Hello, my name is Lathan Buchanan and I'd like to give a tribute to, do, to two veterans who have bravely served in the military, and that is Nathan and Adrian Hines. They are uncles to Elizabeth, Elizabeth Emily, and Jay Moore. Nathan has served in the Marine Corps from 1996 to 2000 and in the Army from 2000 to 2012. He has served three tours in Iraq and saw active combat. Adrian Hines has served in the Coast Guard since 2003 and is retiring in February 2023. He is Petty Officer First Class and is stationed in Port Huron Station in Michigan. They do not live in Robbinsville, but they are very proud to be recognized by RHS. Both have served our country well and with dedication and courage and are honored to be under the title Active Military and Veteran. Momentarily, we will continue, dear. Next, 
next we would like to play or actually sing the marches of the armed forces to our honored veterans. Please stand when your branch of the military is called. Well, thank you, Middle School. However, this is for their honor. The first is going to be the United States Army. United States Coast Guard.
but not least, the most recent addition to our armed forces, the United States Space Force. We have a U.S. Um, astronaut and the pro Vice President of Lockheed that will be listening to this recording later, and she is representing the Space Force for us all. Her name is Sarah Heisa.
everybody for uh, coming to participate. And, uh, now, with that being said, the Rob RHS and RMS and a lot of you guys are now just to go back to the class. God bless you all. And God bless you all. And just for your information, today is the Marine Corps birthday. This young man up here just let me know. So keep that in mind. Thank you. Do you want to